Hi there. So today I'm going to explore the Geometry app in the Casio FX CG500 graphing calculator. This is a really nice calculator. Here's the main menu. This is what it looks like if you have the handheld. And it has a stylus which makes the Geometry app really usable because you can uh, move things with the stylus and create pictures. I'm using the emulator and so I'm going to show you another advantage of using the emulator is that you can actually make the screen even bigger because you're working in a bigger environment. Right now I'm going to use it the same way that a student might if they have the handheld. So here's my main menu and I simply can toggle back and forth between my, men my menu whether I have my stylus or right now I'm using my mouse because I'm using the emulator. I'm going to click the geometry app and you'll see that it brings brings a blank screen. Up here is settings. You can actually um, change the settings for the geometry um, app section. Um, how do you want your uh, measurements to appear? Let's say we want only one decimal place. Do we want our units to be measured in uh, lots of different options here. I'm just going to leave them off for now. Uh, how do you want your angles measured, degrees or radians? So there's a lot of things you can set up ahead of time. Do you want the axes on? So maybe you're doing something that is going to make sense to have an axis. You can turn those on or off. There's different grids you can turn on. There's dot grid. There's um, the lines, the, the squares. So I'm going to set that up. I'm, I'm good. I'm going to hit set. And now I just want to talk about what is here. So uh, if you go to file, you can open new. So basically these are saving as documents. So you can actually create a document um, and save it and, and share it later and bring it up later. Edit is where you would, if you make a mistake while you're doing something, you can edit undo. This is where you would change your properties. Um, you know, do you want the label to show or not to show those types of things, copy paste, all of that's what you typically would expect under edit. View lets you go in and, in and out, um, move around the screen. You can turn the axes on and off. Here's where you can look at your grids. Do you want them on? And I'll just show you what that looks like. This is a dot grid. Um, I really don't actually want that on. Um, and then let me show you the line grid just so you can see there's the line grid. So with or, with, ax with or without axes, you can do that. So let's turn these off again. Um, draw. So here is one way to access all the tools. So you can go to the draw and here you can draw, you know, your basic objects, what you would expect to find in any uh, geometry software. So here's your constructs that you can draw, um, especially po special polygons, you can draw basic triangles, isosceles, equilateral, all of these. Um, and let's keep going back up here. Functions, you can create different types of functions. You can add text to your lines. We're not going to do that right now. Um, you can attach an angle. You can. This is where you would go to measure things. Now notice there's no options right now to measure. That's because we don't have anything selected. Um, it only can measure things if you have something. You can create sliders, angle sliders, um, length sliders, and expressions as well. So you can do a lot of things. You can construct. So this is where you would do your bisectors, your perpendiculars, all of those different types, your transformations. So you can do access all of those up in the draw menu that's up across the top or if you notice that there's some uh, visuals here, some symbols uh, that we can look at. So this is kind of showing you that you can uh, pan around the screen, you can zoom in, you can zoom out. These tools right here, these are all your, uh, so obviously your, your segments, your lines, your rays, your circles, conics, things like that. So this is another way to access the draw just by looking at the images. Um, so these are your polygons that I was talking about. Here's a regular polygon where you would tell it the number of sides that you want. Here's your constructs, right? Your perpendicular, this is a perpendicular through a point. This is a midpoint, intersection, angle, bisector, parallel line. So you can do it either through draw or through these visualizations. And if I click on this, that turns my axes on and off, which I don't want. So we're going to toggle through all of them all the way. And it says over here you can add some more things. So let's go back to where we were. So what I wanted to just show you was all the different options and how easy it is to do. Um, things in the geometry. So I could start doing stuff right on the screen, which is what if a student has a handheld you would expect they would do with their stylus. So let's say I just want to do something really simple like draw a polygon. And 
this is a quadrilateral because I chose the quadrilateral image, right? And now once I have it, I'm going to make sure I go back to my arrow tool. Now it is a dynamic uh, shape that I can uh, manipulate and move using my stylus or my mouse. There we go. Um, what I want to show you is I can do stuff like that or I can just start drawing shapes and I can work in the screen and it's a pretty big screen compared to say a regular um, graphing calculator where you have a much smaller window. But since I'm on the emulator I have the option to actually make this even bigger which is, makes this a really amazing tool. So if I right click you can see some of the things that I can do and I'm going to change it to what they call the resizable mode. And I want to show you the difference. So now that screen is um, much easier for me to see. In fact, my shape is really big right now, so I'm going to switch it out. Um, I'm going to, I'm using my mouse to kind of zoom in here and try to make that smaller. But now I have a screen, and it's resizable, resizable, so I can grab, and again, this is the emulator, I can grab it and change it and move it around however I want. So the whole calculator is now just in a different type of window screen. So it's all, let's go back to our geometry here. There we go. Um, so my tools are still up here. I can do a lot more, but now I have a much bigger space to work in. But all of those same things that were in the identical looking to the handheld, it's now just been spread out a little bit different. So I have different options over here that I can can do. Um, I can copy paste. There's all these different applications here. So there's lots of different ways to get to the menu options. So you'll see over here when they split it up into this resizable mode that my um, menus are over here, but they're also up here. So different ways to just look at this. So this is now a nice new screen that I can use. And now, you know, maybe I want to just get the segment and draw some segments here, right? So I'm going to make my own triangle from segments, right? So I just have a much bigger space to work in. And that's really all I wanted to show you right now was basically what is the geometry app. And it's a full on dynamic geometry uh, tool. It has all of the construction tools that you would expect, and in the emulator you have you can actually create a really nice usable screen. And if I wanted to, for example, change the size of this line or the color of this line, here's where the edit comes in. Sorry, I'm not paying attention. Here's where the and if I wanted to change like the size or the color of anything on the screen, I select it, and here's where I would go into edit and go to my properties and I'm sorry, style and sh change the size of different things. So I could change the line color to be red. And if you notice, now my line is red that I selected. So you can go in, you can just access thing and move things around a lot easier when you have this emulator where you have the big screen. So that was just an introduction to the geometry app. We're going to be doing some more specific constructions in a minute.